Hello again. This seems to be kind of the season of rebuilding things. So I have some parts from one of my old displays. This is the first animated display I did. Um, I think it's at least 25 years old, maybe 27 years old. And part of it has this little assembly here. It's supposed to look like a, a runway landing light. What it is, it's just a canning jar. And then inside we have a light bulb and an outdoor fixture. So that's pretty standard stuff here. And then the actual mounting part, a hole for the fixture, and then a canning lid uh, attached to the wood. Now you notice uh, this is really seen better days. Um, unfortunately, when I built it, I wasn't smart enough to paint it. So uh, 26 years, and this, this, this guy is just you know, coming apart, as you can see. No, okay. So that's now all broken. So I have six of these that I need to redo, and I was looking for a nicer material than this wood, and I happen to have from another project, uh, this, these are some pieces of Azek trim. So it's, uh, what is that, probably one by eight. Um, this is uh, full PVC, so it's 100% plastic, which means it's never going to rot. And what I have, I have uh, two holes at the outside. Let me get my visual aid tools on the outside. If you want, you can use a spike to hold it to the ground. And then there's a nice hole in the middle for this to fit in, for the socket to fit in. And then a couple holes here, which will do the wiring. And I thought I'd show you how to do this simply because I haven't seen other people does, do it this way. And it gives you a nice waterproof, weatherproof uh, way of building this sort of thing. So, um, first step, we're going to take this and we're going to attach the uh, ring that's going to hold uh, the canning jar to. And these are just standard... Okay, so it's the canning jar rings. So if you've ever seen anybody do canning, that's just what the ring looks like. And I'm hoping these don't rust. So that, I'll do it on the back side. And basically we're just going to try to center it like that, so it's centered around. I'm going to start, I have my impact driver here. I'm going to start by drilling four uh, little holes, just a little bit inside. Now one of the really nice things about this plastic, uh, the Azek, is it machines really easily. I'm going to use some little uh, drywall screws to hold the, hold the ring on. Um, ideally, I'd use like 5 8 inch ones, um, so they wouldn't go through. But I looked through my uh, cupboard of screws, and I don't have any 5 8 inch ones. So, we're just going to go with these, and that'll be just fine. So I'm going to put all four of them in slightly tight, not really holding the ring yet. And then once I get them all in, um, I'll be able to tighten it up. I'm really... Okay. I want it to be tight enough to hold, but not... But not so tight it actually deforms the ring. Okay, and it's mostly tight, not perfectly tight. Now the problem is, okay, I've now uh, joined these together slightly. And if I go close, you can see there's some uh, in sticking out. And those are pretty pointy and ugly, so I uh, kind of don't want to have those around. to tighten up one of those by hand. So I'm going to grab my Dremel and 
just uh, cut off the edges and it'll make some nice uh, some nice uh, fireworks. Okay, so now if we look at it, you can see uh, they're just all nicely trimmed off now. Uh, now that's not going to stick on anybody. Eh. Oh, maybe that one will. I'm going to call that close enough. Okay, so now we have that all attached. We can take the socket, it goes through the middle, kind of sticks out the back, and one of these wires goes through each hole. And these are surprisingly hefty wire. Um, I guess maybe they think that you might put like a, I don't know, a 500 watt incandescent light in this, which would be, you know, a lot of current. But these are pretty big. They feel like 12 gauge to me, something like that. I guess if I wanted to, I could read. You don't have to fight with them a little. So now it's in there. Now I need to do the wiring. So there are actually two of these on each circuit. Uh, I already wired the first one to make sure I knew how I wanted to do it. And that one's kind of the easy one. Uh, so this is just, uh, was just an extension cord and with the parts cut off. So we'll just feed that through. And, okay, so I'm going to do a little change of plan. The, the first one I did had two wires coming, and one coming in and one going out. And that made it a little uh, harder. So this time just to make it easier. Okay, now two wires coming through that. We'll feed the other wires through here. So now they come up there. And now I just need to make it a little better, put these to the side. I'm just going to wire nut these together. making sure those are pushed in well. So, uh, you've probably done wire nuts before, but the big key is there are really two parts. First, you need a uh, mechanical uh, connection. So I'm going to twist those wires together. It's a little hard to get what I want. because uh, the, the copper here is very different than the big tinned wire from the, from the socket. But that's what we got. Oh, it's okay. And then the wire nut goes on. And just twist, 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 twist. So it's important to have the right size wire nut um, can generally tell by how hard it ends up getting. Okay, that'll be one of them. It's more slack. Now, ideally, if you're doing this correctly, there is one side of your outlet that is neutral and the other side that is hot. And you should make sure that the wire that comes from the neutral part uh, of the plug ends up connecting to the white here. 
And the reason you do that, I'll show you in a second, as soon as I get this all tight. The reason you do that is if we look inside our socket, we see there, you know, there's the conductor all the way in the bottom, and there's a conductor on the outside. Now the light bulb doesn't care which one is hot and which one is neutral. But if it's wired properly, hot is the bottom and neutral is the outside. And that's just because it's a lot harder to reach in and touch hot than it is to touch the neutral. Um, you notice I didn't check. Would have been good for me to check. You should probably check. Um, for this use, I'm okay. And now I'm just bending the wires around a little bit to give me some space. And kind of get them in the right spot because the glass has to fit in between the wire nut and the wire. Okay, so what do we have there? Let's uh, plug this in. Okay, if everything worked right, I have power there. Take my blue bulb, twist it in. And there we go. So that's what it looks like mounted on the base. And then you can just tighten the lamp. And that's what we have. So it's a nice ground light. Um, you can do whatever color you want. Um, you can do frosting or different colors on the inside of the glass jar to give it kind of a different effect. Um, and that's what we've gotten. So that's one set of these is done. I have uh, two more sets to do. And then I'll have this part, hopefully, you know, ready for the next 26 years. So thanks for watching.